All right, so I've been looking at why snaps are so controversial in the Linux community, and I asked myself, are snaps really that bad? It's really one of those questions where if you ask a dozen different people, you'll get a dozen different answers. Now, I just want to say that for me personally, I don't really like snaps, but I don't hate them either. Like, I avoid using snaps whenever possible, but if I have to use a snap, I'll use a snap. But I think that the only way to answer this question fairly is to look at why snaps are so controversial in the Linux community and the reasons why a snap works that way. And I also just so happen to have a couple snaps installed so we can see how they run and what the user experience is like. More specifically, those are the Spotify and the Bitwarden snaps. Like, those are the two snaps that I use most often. But anyways, I'm gonna first go over why snaps are so controversial in the Linux community, and why people just hate on snaps. Now, the first reason why snaps are so controversial is that unlike other packaging formats like Debian packages and Flatpaks, there's only one centralized repository for snaps, and that's the Snap Store. No other person, no other company, and no other entity besides Canonical can run a Snap Store. So then it kind of places Canonical as the middleman and the ultimate judge as to what snaps are allowed to be published and what's not. And in the Linux community, that is just wrong. However, the reason why they did this is because, first of all, Canonical wanted to make it easy to find and install snaps on a Linux system, and the way they do that is just by having just one repository for snaps instead of countless ones that people have to manage. Like, they did not want people to have to do that. And the second reason being is that they wanted to make Snap more appealing to companies who are interested in developing for Linux, who don't want their app placed right next to a bunch of garbage knockoff apps. And having more corporate support on Linux, when you think about it, is a good thing, because then it would mean more applications that the average person would actually use. And then that'll make Linux a more appealing alternative for people, which could end up bringing us more users and more support as a result. The point I'm trying to make here is that the best and easiest, if not only way to achieve those two goals that I mentioned is by having just one repository for snaps. So now let's move on to the next reason, and that is that the server side of Snap is proprietary. Now, the SnapD desktop client that you'd actually install on the end user system is open source, and yes, you can have an open source Snap if anyone tells you otherwise that they're lying. I'm just talking about the server side of Snap that actually manages the Snap store. That's proprietary. And from the Linux community's point of view, if it's proprietary, then what's it doing in the Linux community? Now, okay, I find that kind of hard to defend, and I believe it would be possible to have one Snap store and still have the server side of Snap open source. And one thing I really don't agree with is creating a Chromium dummy package in the Ubuntu repo that will just install SnapD and install the Chromium Snap without your permission, which is like, uh, okay, no. So, okay, this is one that I can understand, but in the end, I don't really care whether something is open source or proprietary, as long as it just works and it's not malicious. Now, the third reason why snaps are so controversial in the Linux community is that snaps will create tons of loop devices just due to the way that the snap containment technology works. Now, me personally, I don't mind it because I never really notice it, but some people get pretty pissed about this, and I do see why, but I guess that's just how the snap containment technology works is just by giving each snap its own loop device. And now another reason why snap is so controversial is because snaps will just automatically update. And in the Linux community, automatic updates equals bad. So now the reason why I don't think that this is really valid though, and again, this is my opinion, is that a snap can just automatically update in the background while you're using it. And then it's only the next time that you launch it that you're using the updated version of the snap. It's not really like on Windows, which will just forcibly 
reboot your system. Like, Snap doesn't just forcibly close the app. You don't even notice the Snap update. And in my opinion, it's not really a huge problem since I update all my apps anyway. Though I could see, like, if you're one of those people that like to lag a week or two behind or just use an old version of an app for whatever reason, then okay. But regardless, moving on, I'm gonna go over the two reasons why I don't really like snaps. And the first one being is that they are slow to launch. Like, it's not uncommon for a snap to take like six seconds to launch compared to something like a Debian package, which will launch in like one or two seconds. Now, I'm going to show you like how slow snaps are to launch by doing a real life test. All right, so now I'm going to go open up the Spotify snap and see how long that takes to run. So ready, set, go. Okay, so not too bad, about five seconds. It is a bit of a heavier app. I'm gonna go reset this and then try with the Bitboard and Snap. So ready, set, go. It was actually a bit faster than I thought, but still slower than your average Debian package. Okay, and the second reason why I don't like snaps is because they just don't respect the theme. Like, they don't even keep the same mouse cursor, which kind of makes snaps look out of place on your system. So now, Snap has a bunch of what it calls common themes, and it'll apply your theme if it's in that database. So now this is probably not going to be an issue for many Linux users, but if you're using a custom theme like I am, then your theme probably won't be in that collection, so then it will just default to some ugly theme, which I don't really like, and I'm sure a lot of you would agree with me on that. Once those two kinks with snaps are no longer there, then you know what? I don't mind snaps. So in conclusion, are snaps that bad? I am gonna get so much crap for this. Yes, but mostly no. And that's because, well, I don't really particularly like snaps because they're slow and they don't respect the theme. After after all, they're really just a packaging format. Like, they are not hot garbage, they are not canonical becoming Microsoft. It's really just a confined packaging format. Like, that's the whole idea behind Snaps. It's not to shove proprietary garbage down Linux users' throats. I think the Linux community just needs to calm down and actually think about, like, is it really that bad? And I just want to say, you don't need to go troll in the comment section of a forum whenever there's a Snap mentioned, because, hey, after all, they're trying to fix some of these issues and you know what that kind of behavior just doesn't help but anyway thanks for watching if you liked this video found it informative hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and alternatively if you completely disagree with me and you really did not like this video then you know what to do and if you're thinking of leaving a hateful comment because you think that what I said was stupid you know what don't bother I'll probably just delete your comment and your efforts will just be wasted after all. This video is really just my opinion as to whether snaps are really as bad as the Linux community thinks they are.